I'm here with Rob Smith from Care London and we're going to talk about how our embryologists choose the correct embryo to put back. So Zita, what we would do as embryologists is we would have a chat with George, talk through all the embryos that a particular patient has and then we would explain to him which ones we're going to put back and why. And there's lots of tools and techniques us as embryologists have to make these very important decisions as to which embryo needs to go back. So if we look over here, these are all of the embryos that one of your patients has. Many of them are at a very good stage. Some of them are at a slightly poorer stage, this one, this one, and this one. However, the rest of them, these other five up here and down here, they're all looking very similar. So George will ask me, well, Rob, which one are you going to pick now to put back into my patient? Now, using this time-lapse technology, we're able to apply lots of different tests to these embryos. We're able to see which one was developing in line with all the babies that have been through this time-lapse system that have, become, have been born and been healthy. So, using this technology, what we're able to do is run this algorithm test, and what that will tell us is the way the embryo divided, which one is in line with the perfect model of the one that's going to make a baby. Using this test we have identified that embryo number two here has the highest chance of forming a pregnancy. It has developed perfectly in line with what we would expect from a blastocyst that is going to go on and make a baby. However, some of these other embryos here, this one, number nine, it still looks a very good quality embryo, however it has not developed at the correct rate we would expect an embryo to that is going to go on and make a baby. This is where time-lapse imaging comes into its own. Using previous technologies, um, such as these large incubators around us that don't have cameras in, an embryologist takes a dish out of the incubator yeah. once a day, has a look at that embryo and makes all of his or her decisions based, on, yeah. based just on that one yeah. little assessment. Yeah. So so we know now just looking at the embryo once a day is not sufficient in making the right choice, selection choice of which embryo to put back and that's where this technology is totally invaluable. And what's, what this, this um, patient is fortunate that she's got 10 embryos so that is a, you're able to select you know, more easily than somebody that just produces... Absolutely. Three or four, yes. so, so what we're able to do here, Zeta, is we're able to pick, first of all, which embryo out of this group is going to go back into the patient immediately. However, what it does allow us to do is look at all these remaining embryos. We're able then to assess what the likelihood of each one of those is to form a pregnancy, and we will freeze those. But when we freeze them, we freeze them in a way that we grade them as to which one needs to go back in next. So the second time the patient comes back, if they don't get pregnant we're able to pick a very strong healthy embryo to put back inside them again yeah. knowing that some of these poorer ones may have may have a chance of forming a pregnancy yeah. but be very low but we always want to give our patients the highest chance of pregnancy whenever they come here so using a technology such as this we'll be able to guarantee the highest possible success <laughs>